What's up, Alma Familia? I'm here with Cody. He's one of our main roasters here in the roastery. Today we have something really cool to show you. I don't know if you've ever seen one of these. I certainly haven't. Uh, this is called the siphon. It's right? called a coffee siphon. Coffee yeah, siphon. it's also sometimes referred to as a vacuum pot. Vacuum pot. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. I did not know that. I've yes. never even seen one of these before. I don't know a few months ago. So Cody here is very knowledgeable about this device, and so he's going to go ahead and walk us through how this thing works and how it brews coffee. So yes. with that said, Cody, take it away. Yeah, so the way it's gonna work is the water will go down here. Mm -hmm. When the atmospheric pressure change happens from the flame, mm -hmm. it'll go up here. That's where we'll introduce the grounds to it. Got it. Okay. We let it kind of like, cause it is a full immersion brewer. Mm -hmm. So we'll let the grounds mix in the water for about one and a half, two minutes. Um, and then we'll go ahead and turn this little burner off. Then as the pressure uh, changes okay. in this bottom chamber, the coffee will sink back down to the first chamber and the grounds will still stay up top. So that way you're not getting grounds in the cup, which is why I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a little filter inside of there. And that is the purpose for that guy. Nice, okay. So that is the way we're gonna do it. Super cool, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. Let's get into it. So we're gonna start off, we're gonna turn on a little burner. So we're gonna turn nice, ours on okay. and wait for the hiss. Let it go for a second and then Turn it on. Let's go. So I'm gonna turn us off for a second so it yeah. doesn't burn through all the butane. But yeah, this before was, we get started, let's, yeah. let's dive into a little bit of the history. The actually. history, yeah. So the history of this guy is it was invented in Berlin in 1830. So it's okay. a German device. Mm -hmm. um, however, it wasn't popularized until like 10 years later in France. That's where it really okay. started getting commercialized. Yeah. It took off. And then since then, it's become really popular, especially in um, cafes and uh, kind of like Asia. Um, so originally German. Mm -hmm. popularized by the French, really popular in like the Asian countries right nice. now. This is cool. Yes, so a few things you're gonna need for this. You're gonna need a scale. You're gonna need something to put your ground coffee in. You're gonna need a couple cups for when it's done. You're gonna need some water. Boiling will definitely help you out. It'll help start the whole boiling process. Yeah, make it a little quicker. Because if you use cold water, you're shooting yourself in the foot a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but then uh, you need something to stir because once the water is up here, we're actually gonna stir it. So it creates kind of a cyclone and oh, then you're gonna wow. introduce okay, the grounds cool. into it. Yeah. So it helps the full immersion process. Yeah. So. Sweet. I first? chose Belen Guacho, which is one of the coffees we have here. It, I've tried all 17 of our coffees in this thing at home. Okay. This one is just a favorite of mine. Nice. Um, You're the, actually answering all the questions I was going to ask really? like, without asking yeah. <laughs> So this is kind of cool. Um, actually, what is a really great grind size to help get more flavor in the cup is like a little bit coarser than um, like table salt. Okay. So not quite like uh, chili pepper flakes, but like a little bit coarser than table salt. So we are going to go ahead and get started. Cool. And I'm going to let you kind of take the wheel on this at a certain point. Okay. Right? Yeah. So no, definitely hand it off. So you will see on this. Mm -hmm. There's like this little like thing. pull tab. Yeah, yeah, a little pull tab. So there's like a little clip there. Can you see it? Yeah. You're gonna okay, actually you. right there. Like yes. That oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there. Yeah. Okay. So you're actually gonna pin that on okay. the side of this. Hold it down here just a minute so that you can see on this camera. Yes. Right yeah. So, so like right there. There's this little pin right here. Nice. You're just gonna clip it on the side. So I'll put this here for a second. I'll fill it up. This is cool. It, it does seem like a some sort of uh, like a some chemistry, sort of chemistry project. project. Yeah, a hundred percent. Nice. It's like uh, you know, you know, in Breaking Bad when there's that one scientist that brews coffee on yeah, like that. Yeah, dude. it's like that. Uh, what was his name? Gale. <laughs> Gale. Yes. Dude. Yeah, it's like Gale's. I'm thing. a massive Breaking Bad fan, yeah. so like I know exactly what you're talking about. Yes. And this on. Wait for the hiss. Yep. Wait a couple seconds. Click it on. Perfect. Turn down a little bit. We're gonna put it on here. Now, we are going to put this uh -huh. on here, but we're not going to vacuum seal it yet. Okay. So we are going to... Kind of lightly put it on there. Set it to the side. Nice. So that okay. way there's still... There's still like airflow? Airflow, okay. yeah. While we wait, Cody yes. is, you said intermediate level, intermediate S level SCA. Certified. SCA certified training, right? Or like, how uh, would you so say that? I can't be a trainer until I complete professional, and oh, then right, there's okay. like a license for trainers. Nice. You okay. have to take a test for that. So right now I'm just um, certified at like an intermediate level, according to like the worldwide organization nice. to do brews. Um, and then I, this is my favorite part of coffee, so I just research a lot at home. I'll turn this up a tiny bit because I think this 
has since cooled down mm -hmm. a little bit. But turn it up a little bit. And All you'll right. know we when it's uh, boiling because you'll see bubbles. Yeah. Like see them starting a little bit. Yeah. Like little tiny mm -hmm. ones. Turn it back down a tiny bit. I see something going on there and there in the bottom. Yeah. Ooh. Look at that, starting to bubble. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can see it way more now. Yeah. It's cool, I never, like, obviously I've seen water boil. Like, yeah. I, I make food, I, I make coffee. Right. But like, it's interesting seeing it in this setting where it's like, I don't know, in, in a bulb. Yeah. <laughs> it like looks cool. Literally it looks like a chemistry flask. Yeah. yeah. Oh, one other thing you're gonna need is a timer. I don't know if I said that, but. Right. We need a timer, bro. Well, a lot of scales have timers, like this Hario scale yes. does have one built in. Yeah. So this is a really cool thing. Fun we fact, have that we, here, don't we? Yeah, we yeah. sell these. So in case you're looking for one. Good place. We got them. Okay, so if you can see, we're starting to get some bubbles. Yeah. So we're reaching boiling point. Mm -hmm. So in a second here, I'm gonna let you take over. Okay. So. I'm a little nervous, but. <laughs> we're going to seal it. Okay. Now, this is when the cool stuff happens. So it takes it a minute. But as the vacuum seal, which is why some people call it a vacuum pot, has the atmospheric pressure change is when you'll see, see it starting to get wet a little bit. Oh, whoa. Yeah, so. Now, one whoa. thing you'll notice, some people think that it's a bad thing, but you'll notice a little bit of water is gonna stay down here. Okay. But we need that, so that way the steam pressure is still high enough that we get it to rise. Whoa, yeah. dude. Yeah, see? It's cool, right? Hang on, dude, that's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, look, look how cool that looks. So I'm turning it down a little bit. Now, what I'm gonna ask you to do is okay. take that spoon and stir it until you see like a whirlpool effect. Okay. Is there any direction? Does it nope, matter? it does okay. not matter. Should I go a little faster? Nope, that's perfect. All right, now I'm gonna add the grounds and then you're gonna keep stirring. Okay. And I'm starting my go, timer. Dude. Oops, not that one. Okay, and you can stop. Okay. Put the spoon to the side for a second. So, see how it's kind of like mixed in there and you've almost got like a crema looking. Yeah. Like it's where the grounds are mixing with the water. So we are- Oh, it are, smells so good. Yeah. So the next time that you're gonna stir it is actually, and then once this hits 30 seconds, okay. you're gonna stir it for another like 10 seconds. Oh, and I don't know if I said, but I used 40 grounds, uh, 40 grams of coffee for this. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I forgot to ask. Um, I found that that's a good ratio for Belen. Uh, it does change with the coffee though. Um, their recommended is good for a lot of darker coffees, I think. Um, but it also you just gotta play. All right, you can stop stirring. Okay. And then we're gonna stir one more time, but we're gonna wait until this is hit about a minute and a half. Okay. And then we're gonna turn off butane torch, and then as it's lowering, it stir it one more time. Okay. Yeah. Seven, eight. And we're stirring. All right, so I've turned off the butane burner. How, for how long do I stir for? Like 20 more seconds. Okay. And this is just to increase extraction. Nine, All right, 50. now watch the bottom. Whoa. Remove this Lift just it. in case it went there's up. No... Yeah, so the atmospheric pressure change. Immersion. It's coming back down. Right, so that little bit of water in the bottom that you saw, like when we first did it, yeah. is helping the steam pressure stay the same okay. in there. So that way it keeps all the water in the top vessel with the atmospheric pressure change. And then after you remove the burner and it starts to cool and that level starts to change, it'll start to sink again because mm. there's nothing there building steam anymore. Nice. Science. <laughs> All right, so wait, am I supposed to stir one more time as it's going down? Nope, we're just gonna okay. leave it now. Okay. Yep. Nice. Dude, this is wild. Yeah, right. Me and Cody have been talking about doing this video for like- A good while. Since like November, right? A little I think. bit, yeah, a little bit. Whoa, what's going on here? That actually looks like a bubble. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, so now, got our little lid handy. Mm -hmm. This is really hot, so be careful. Oh, is it hot right here? Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. Wow. So, the nice. brew is complete. I forgot to stop the timer. That was like right around three and a half minutes. Yeah. So, shoot, I'll okay. let you pour this out. Yeah. Let's Here, go if for you it. want to move that over real quick, yep. we'll 
Put the mugs here. All right, do you need to swirl or anything? Like, did we do that? No, you don't need to. Okay. You can for aesthetics, but. Let's, let's do a swirl. Let's do hashtag a swirl. aesthetics. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. All right, so here we go. Cup number one. Now, it's gonna be hot. Like, pretty hot. All right. Here, you can have that one. Cool. And then cup two. Cool. Nice. Ah, I'll put it right here. <laughs> Let me clean this up real quick. Yeah. All right. Sweet. Cheers. Cheers. Whoa. Dude. You're right, very hot. Very oh, hot. This is really good. Yeah. Not even just saying that for the video, like I really believe that. Now it's probably good to wait like a minute or two before you taste it, just so you don't like burn your tongue. I know my tongue but, is my tongue is burnt right now. Yeah, I mean you and I drink a lot of coffee, so yeah. used to that. But it's good, right? Dude, that's so yeah. good. Awesome Cody. Thanks so cool. much, dude. Yeah, absolutely. This is super cool. I'm glad sure. we finally got to do this. If you want to see more videos like this, leave us a comment below saying what you'd like to see or anything of the sort. And uh, we'll see if we can make it happen. So thanks for, sure. for joining us and we'll see you next time. Yeah.